Hey guys, I've been doing a lot of foam carving for my next project. I made a few YouTube symbols, but I've also made this rolling stone symbol that I'm going to be making for somebody. These are the 100,000 subscriber YouTube symbols that I'm currently working on. These are going to be cast in aluminum. I'm currently coating them with drywall mud to give them a smooth finish. But for today's copper cast, I'm going to be using this one. This is going to be cast in green sand. It's not going to require any plaster coating to them because the smoothness should come from the green sand itself. So let's head out to the garage and I'll show you guys how to cast this in green sand. So it's a little bit cloudy outside, but it's not expected to rain. At least that's what the forecast says. For this cast, I'm going to be using a two part casting flask that I made out of wood along with the green sand I spoke about in the beginning. I'm going to place the foam pattern in the bottom half of the flask and then sprinkle on some green sand through a strainer to try to get the fine particles of sand to really capture the detail on the foam. Now I'm going to continue filling the mold with more sand, compacting it very gently with my fingers to try not to indent the foam. You still want to get a good compaction on the sand, but you don't want to damage your foam. I'm going to continue filling this half of the flask all the way to the top, compacting it gently. And when I reach the top of it, I'm going to flatten it out and scrape away any of the excess. With that half of the mold finished, I'm now going to flip it over and work on the top half of the mold. And before adding any sand to this half of the flask, I will need to add some talcum powder to the sand. The talcum powder leaves a barrier so the sand does not stick to the other sand in the other half of the mold. I'll now blow away any of the loose sand that's remaining on this mold. I'm now going to place the sprue into the sand. This is where the molten copper is going to float into the mold. After I place that in, I will continue filling this half of the mold box with more sand, filling it all the way to the top. And this time, I'm going to use my ramming tool and gently pack down the sand. And when that's filled to the top, I'll do the same as before and scrape off any of the excess sand to make it flat. And now I'm going to carve out an open area surrounding the sprue to give me more area to pour that molten copper into. Once I finished carving that out and removed the sand, I then pulled out the sprue and removed this top half of the flask. I'm going to start at the location of the sprue in the bottom half of the flask and carve out a straight line, which is called a runner. After removing the sand, I'm going to carve in a gate. This is the area between the runner and the pattern. Now I'm going to use a torch to burn away the foam pattern that's in the mold. With the foam burned away in an open cavity, I can now put this mold box back together. Now I'm ready to melt down some metal. And today, like I said, I'm not gonna be melting any aluminum. I'm going to be melting down some copper. I have these two large copper ingots that I made in the past. And I'm gonna be melting them down to make this 100,000 subscriber YouTube symbol. And something I started to do most of the time is surround my work area with sand, just in case I get a spill because I don't want to ruin my driveway any more than I already have. So now I'm just going to load these two copper ingots into the crucible and start melting it down to make some molten copper. And here's another look at my casting area for today with the sand casting mold ready to be poured into.
about 20 minutes and this copper is now fully molten and ready to pour. If you're new to metal casting, just know that it is very dangerous. Make sure you're wearing as much personal protection as you can. I've seen so many people doing this wearing shorts, a set of glasses, that is not good enough. You need to really be covering your body because if this splashes and hits you, you will get severely injured. a lot of copper left over in the crucible. I severely underestimated how much I was going to need. So I preheated this graphite ingot mold prior to pouring any molten metal into it. Which is something you always want to do prior to pouring. Because if there's any moisture inside of that ingot, once that molten metal hits it, it's going to pop and splash everywhere. Molten metal does not react very kindly when it touches any sort of moisture. And because I still have more molten copper in my crucible, I'm just going to have to pour more of it into another graphite ingot mold that I have. Because I only have two of these graphite molds, I have to remove one of the ingots so I can pour the remainder of the copper into it. Alright guys, so after looking at this mold, it has some cracks in it. I thought maybe it had an empty cavity and the sand sunk, but then I thought about it. In order for it to have a crack, it must have expanded, which tells me it was a good cast. Alright, back in the garage, I'm now going to be removing the two pins which are holding the top flask to the bottom part of the flask. Because without them, the pressure from the copper, it would have expanded and pushed the top away from the bottom, probably causing a leak with molten copper flowing out of the half of the flask. While I'm brushing off this sand with a wire brush, I'm noticing there's a lot of defects in the cast. I know casting with copper doesn't always give a good result, 
but I also don't know if that's residue left over from burning out the polystyrene foam. But either way, I'm pretty happy that it worked because like I said before, when I saw that crack, I actually thought I had a failed cast today, but I didn't. I have a 100,000 subscriber copper cast. And I'm just gonna show you a couple clips of me cutting off the gate and cleaning this up a little bit. And here it is, the final cast for the 100,000 subscriber copper YouTube logo. And yes, I am not actually at 100,000 yet, but I have around 98,700 and something. Now it's time to get a weigh-in on this copper ingot. I have here 1.56 pounds, 0.7 kilograms, and 24.9 ounces. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope that I'm at 100,000 subscribers by the time this airs. If you guys liked the video, definitely hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to cast this in aluminum.